all right the box is open so as you'll see from the title um, this is a the first big package that I have got consolidated from buy.com um, G-Shock High Fashion introduced me to this um, service buy.com .co.jp buy anyway website I'll put the link in the description that is um, a Japanese auction buying service and that's pretty cool because uh, for those of us that don't live in Japan it gives us the ability to buy things off the Japanese Yahoo auction um, which is really the only auction play in Japan now because they beat eBay many years ago set them packing so Yahoo Japan is kind of the Japanese eBay auction now this buying service you can buy anything from there and they will then receive it at their warehouse and ship it to you I bought um, Two, two watches, like the G8000, G800, no, G8100, um, and just got them shipped individually, which is fairly expensive. But as you saw with that huge box with all the packages that came in, I bought a, a four, five, four watches, and um, it's been, been so long, I can't remember. But yeah, what they offer is you can buy it, and then it sits in their uh, warehouse. You get 30 days. Ooh, cool. I have no idea what any of this means. Um, some kind of advertising from the guys that I bought the watch off. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Massive box for a little watch. Yeah, so you get 30 days storage free. So what I did was I won a couple of auctions and I just let them sit there um, until I won a couple more auctions and then I consolidated them all into one package and it's only a thousand yen to consolidate. So that's a pretty good price, I thought. And they obviously saw they just throw boxes um, of all sizes and I think there's two loose watches um, all right yeah there's there's two there were two watches in it like this that were just packaged in bubble wrap and then two boxes themselves and they packaged it into a new box and then shipped it all at once which obviously saves a lot on postage and the postage is pretty pretty cheap actually you get a choice of what postal service you need they're all fairly fast so I'll just show you what I got and then I, these I'll individually um, do a review on these because they're actually quite, well, rare for us here. You don't see them pop up on Fleabay at all, US or anywhere. Um, so yeah, what I kind of liked about Bayi was, well, firstly, um, the stuff is much cheaper. The stuff I kind of buy anyway, um, cheap watches. And uh, secondly, you get a chance to get stuff that is just not available anyway, like this little beauty. Check that out. Um, yeah, as I say, I'll, I'll do a, um, a review on each of these watches, but that is cool. All right, one. Get that frame. I'll open the loose one next. <laughs> like I say, it's been. <clears throat> I was pushing it on their free storage the 30 days because um, I think it was there for about 25 days, the first one that I bought. Um, and they. So I kind of. I, I vaguely remember what I got. GLs were what I was after, actually. GL230, GL240, um, which all have the infamous. I think it's a 2597 module. Oh, but the other thing I got was the one that's been sitting there for longest is a fisherman. I've been after a fisherman for ages because of its features. Cool. Oh, they come fairly well wrapped. This batch is all vintage stuff um, with some new old stock. Um, but yes, the fisherman saw a review on it. Loved the features. I have some G Lide watches which have tide and moon, but. Um, the fisherman just ticks all the boxes you've got tide moon sunset sunrise moonset moonrise and um it's titanium so you, you can handle the salt water and let's try to scratch the any watches here am I? um yeah so i've been after a fisherman for ages and here it is So that's the first one that I actually bought, the one that's been sitting in storage. And that looks awesome. All right. Ugh, sorry, I've got the camera on a weird angle, so. Two, what else we got? Um, 
Okay, it's in a massive pillow box. This this is like one watch. So, oh, actually, I think this one came with the box. So it's um, he's probably boxed this in a large box to handle the box. So this one was um like maybe new old stock, certainly mint, and it came with all box and papers and everything. Okay, again, wow, lots of redundant packaging for make it a large box. And here we go. So that, people who can see the box design probably know what it is straight away. This is a collaboration with the World Coral Reef Conservation Society. That's the paperwork. Oh, swing tag too. Yeah, this I think is new old stock. So there we go. Supposedly 25,000 yen when it was new. Oh, cool. Uh, as you can get from the content here, um, this one, this buying trip, uh, was uh, all about the jelly. So there we go. That upside down, Miss Jane. Oops, something went flying. <laughs> Lost. Um, this is another jelly type band and Okay, that's very cool. So it's a DW9600WC. And that's a GL240. That's the Fisherman. Can't remember the um, DW8600, I think, Fisherman. Uh, and one more, which I'll get. Okay, last, but certainly not least, is this baby uh, as I said jellies this time so this is a GL230 which again does have the that notorious module the 2597 module um, which I've done a lot of reading about and same with this one um, now this one was advertised on the auction site with a just a blank face so nothing on it now I just put it out in the Sun baked it for a little bit and it came up to a decent charge and then as soon as I brought it inside it went dark again so I'm not sure whether it's the battery um, that's commonly the cause sometimes it is the module but uh, you can pick up distressed versions of this with a um, you know beat up watch with a working module so I will put it back in the Sun because it's it's going to come back on but I'm gonna just bake her in the sun for a couple of days and see if they can get a charge into it and if not I'll change the battery first point of call so there you go that is the jellies